The soil is the resource base for survival. More than 67% of the Sub-Saharan Africa soils are degraded, badly degraded. Farmers apply less nutrients than they mine from the ground. Human health, soil health, they are related. Human gets nutrition from food, food gets nutrition from soil, and soil gets, some of them are in the soil and some from the atmosphere. So that linkage is critically important for food security and sustaining the global food system. Ethiopia has a very diverse agroecological condition. So the soils are very different within the country, and one has to address that heterogeneity to, to achieve the production target. Ethiosis is, stands for the Ethiopian Soil Information System, and that was one of the first initiatives that the Soils Program undertook at the ATA, and that's basically to be able to develop information about the type of soils that uh, <coughs> Ethiopia has, the type of agricultural soils, what kind of potential they have, and what kind of fertility status they have in order to be able to make informed decisions about how to manage and how to best use the soils of the country. We have done 50% of the country's agricultural land and identified the types of fertilizers that each area needs. They can tailor input fertilizers according to the need of the soil, just like giving medicine to a human body. So you have to diagnose the disease to treat it. The same way many of these programs can be more effective once you have better soil information and apply the right kind of fertilizer, which would be blended fertilizer. We're in uh, Tulo Bolo, the home of the Becho Waliso uh, Farmers Cooperative Union, uh, where we have uh, erected the, the first blending facility, fertilizer blending facility for Ethiopia. And uh, this is a culmination of work that started about three years ago at the ATA in the Ministry of Agriculture, starting with the Soils Initiative and then uh, developing the, the fertilizer blending plants to address soil deficiencies in nutrients and improve crop yields and food security in the country. This is a complete change both in operations and in the types of fertilizers as well as the opportunity eventually for more private sector involvement. In this particular container, we've got uh, parts of uh, a portable conveyor that will be used to uh, build the stockpiles of fertilizer. This system is uh, an automated blending system. It's uh, specifically designed uh, so that the operators can simply just enter in each nutrient that's required, and, uh, the, the kilograms of each product, and then uh, it automatically blends uh, at a high, high level of accuracy. And what we have here is a facility that We'll have a declining weight blending unit that will um, operate at a level of 50 tons per hour of fertilizer output and should produce in the range of 50 to 60,000 tons of fertilizer per year. The right approach that many countries follow is to blend the fertilizers locally. You cannot buy blended fertilizers from abroad because during transportation, the fertilizers can disintegrate. Even when they are produced locally, we have to make sure that we do not transport blended fertilizers long distances. Transporting these fertilizers long distances on rough roads means there will be segregation. That's why we are actually building such fertilizer blending plants in strategic locations across the country. Becho Aliso, uh, first of all, in terms of the farmer cooperative unions, is one of the most dynamic and um, opportunistic farmer cooperative unions in Ethiopia. And so it's already unique in terms of the owner of the facility already is running a bag, um, a poly bag factory. And so in order to run another factory, we felt confident that they had that experience necessary. So it's unique in terms of the ownership, the location is optimal. It's not far from Addis, it's not too far from Adama. So for distribution, it's ideal. Um, also, this union has been providing a lot of support uh, with us and, and the uh, cooperative agency as well to ensure that the farmers will really get the benefit. 
uh, sometimes then, then uh, getting fertilizers is in difficult. It is wet too much. Uh, so uh, since it is produced here in their locality, it is possible to get in time and, and in proper time. And so uh, this one is very important. It, it reduces the cost of the farmers and increases the productivity of our farmers. So the farmers is benefited. Um, this year we'll have a minimal amount of blends produced in order to address the late planting. But by next year, we would expect that this plant will operate near capacity, uh, upward to 50,000 tons, and we'll have um, a large percentage, certainly greater than 50 percent of the farmers using blends in this area. And this plant is also capable of servicing other uh, unions and other areas and shipping the blends to those uh, parts of the uh, region as well. The crop yields have increased by minimum, say 30%, upwards to 50 and 60%. So those kind of increases mean significantly more profits and uh, more household income to the farmers, uh, more income that they can use not only for their immediate needs, but also hopefully expanding their own operations and improving their overall li lifestyles. The farmers is all the farmers that came here happy because they seem that they get uh, these fertilizers. Even, even our management does not believe that we get fertilizer blending here. This is a very important uh, project. Uh, Ethiopia has started it, but need is much greater. IPRI will continue to play that role at two levels. One is providing research and analytical support. Second component is building capacity within the country. In order for the private sector to come and invest more in a country like Ethiopia, they have to see uh, facilities that are working. So really, um, this fertilizer blending factory should be one of many to come, and um, there will be five uh, altogether. This is going to be the first, and it's important because when you see one, already people are coming in and saying, I want to do this too. The partnership is extremely important. It is a smaller scale. It needs to be scaled up. One has to show the success so that there are enough interest in other countries to follow the suit. Eventually, I'd like to see this as being something that's available to all farmers on the basis of the demand that they have for their soils. We have to make sure that we conserve, take care of the soil, and pass it on to the next generation. I really, on the behalf of those poor farmers, I want to say thank you for the people who support for us. So in generally, this is really amazing. It's not only for me, it's for all farmers.